reached cause you suffering? Or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are being stored at all. Huh? I've heard enough! My life's enough of a mess already. The last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora. I don't need it. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? Well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. I guess that'll be the end of that. Are you all right? Any physical discomfort? I'm... fine. <sighs> Thanks, Tainari. Don't worry about me. Don't push yourself too hard. Kaveh? Kaveh may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the task prior to that. According to the rules, this makes him the victor of round three. Points-wise, this also makes him the winner of the Inter-Darshan Championship. As the champion and Sachin's personally designated successor, Kaveh has obtained the rights to inherit the entirety of his estate. For the avoidance of doubt, can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sachin's wealth? Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Well then, let's use what he left behind to change it for the better. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. He and I, we're not the same. All right. As the scribe, I will make a record of this incident on file. The sages will contact you in person for details on how exactly Sachin's estate is to be used. That sounds fine. I don't know if his research findings were right, nor would I know how to finish his research for him. But what I do know is that by ending this here, no contestants will have to suffer. We won't be the last. There will be more championships to come, and countless future scholars will follow in our footsteps. Sachin's words can only cause pain, but not anymore. No one else has to hear them now. We're all scholars here. I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. Fine by me. I'll bear that responsibility. It's the least I can do. And, well, it's the only thing I can do. Hmm. Well said. What you've expressed is a sense of justice and idealism that many aspire to, but few dare follow through with. I say this despite the fact that, in my view, it's quite ridiculous. You have long been aware of what your flaws are, but your pride alone prevents you from admitting it. Nevertheless, your perspective is well suited to appearing in a victory speech. Contestant Kave, on behalf of the organizing committee, it is my honor to congratulate you on your victory. What? Please, I don't need your insincere praise. Anyway, this isn't the time or place for debates. Keep your commentary focused on the competition, not my views. Congratulations, Kave. Also, you'll need to prepare for the award ceremony. Looks like the ceremony will be held at the main venue. Let's head over and check it out! Thank you all for your excellent performance. And that brings this year's Interdarshan Championship to a close. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to invite our champion, Kave, to the stage to receive his award. Typically at this point, we would crown our champion with the diadem as well as presenting them with their award. However, we have just received word that Kave has inherited Sachin's estate and made the decision to donate it all to charitable causes. <gasps> Sachin's estate is getting donated? 
So much, Mora. And he gave it all up? Kaveh's generosity will give many struggling families the chance to change their lives for the better. Of course, without the diadem and prize money to present, this makes the award ceremony a little more concise than expected. Would you like to say a few words, Kaveh? I'm sure many of our audience, like myself, are curious to learn why you decided to give all this wealth away. I'm... not entirely sure what I should say under these circumstances. I'm glad to have won, even though I'd say luck played a big part in that. As for why I want to give the Mora away... I don't support Sachin's views, and I don't want to take his Mora. With a lot of things in life, people need to experience them for themselves. It shouldn't be up to one person to make a judgment on. Not him, and not me, either. Anyway, this isn't really the time and place for such weighty and complicated topics. So, um, I guess that's all. I'll leave it there, thanks very much. Oh, Kave, just one moment. While this is a short and sweet award ceremony, we do still have a prize to present you with. Please take this limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card. Additionally, your champion status will be logged in your record. This means that the Sages will give priority consideration to any future project proposals you submit. All right, I'll take the card. But as for project proposals... Uh, uh, forget it. In that case, I declare the award ceremony over. Let's give our champion Kave one last big round of applause. I still don't really get it. The sum of Mora would have been enough for me to live in luxury for my entire life. That just means you're not strange enough to understand the way that geniuses think. Come on, we've still got the whole Wisdom Gala to explore. Oh, <sighs> glad that's over. I think I'm quite good at giving speeches, but this one was just so tiring. Do you mean that you're still exhausted from the competition? Honestly, you don't look happy at all, but whatever else happened, you're the champion, you know? Don't you think you should be proud of that? I suppose... <sighs> oh, wait. Sino said he wanted the card, didn't he? And now I have it, right here. So you're gonna give it to him? But if it's a rare one, you should be able to make a tidy sum of more off it. Why would I do that? It's of no use to me whatsoever. I may as well just give it to him. Uh, could you pass it on to him for me when you next see him? Whoa, whoa, this is a super big deal. You should do it yourself. Come on, let's go find Sino. Huh? But I was gonna rest for a while longer. Uh, hey, hey, stop pulling my hair! What you looking at, Sino? I'm still thinking about the Sachin issue. What brings you here? Well, they gave me this limited edition Genius Invocation card, and I figured you'd have more use for it than I. But it's a limited edition. Are you sure you want to give it to me? What else would I do with it? I have no use for it. <gasps> but it's limited edition. Kave, are you in trouble? You don't have to do all this. Just tell me what's wrong, and I will help. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. Yes, I have all sorts of problems, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this card. I'll figure my own issues out by myself. All right. In that case, I accept your generosity. But now that I realize that you have no concept of its value, I cannot simply take it from you. How about this? I shall buy it from you at a fair price. Namely, the price that the previous limited edition card sold for. Oh, come on. It's just one card. How much could it really be worth? One million more, at the very least. Huh? How much? A million more? If you feel that's too low, I can go a little higher. 
One million mora for a card? But you already have a whole bunch of these, uh, shiny ones, don't you? I saw your deck last time we played. Not every card is this valuable, and some cards are exquisitely designed, but not rare. Huh. Well, I guess they must pay you plenty to be General Mahamatra if you're splashing out on things like this. But really, it's fine. I'd feel bad taking Mora from a friend. Don't feel bad. I save a lot. I can spare the Mora for this card. Uh, you don't spend all your savings on your hobbies, do you? You should watch that, you know. You definitely don't want to end up borrowing money in a moment of impulsivity. Living with debt is miserable. Sounds like you're speaking from personal experience. I guess you've been through a lot? <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. In that case, maybe you're the one who should be listening to your advice. In any case, I, Sino, will take this precious card, and it shall join the Deck of Destiny. Kave, come with me in a few moments to collect the Mora. Thanks to you, I have achieved my goal for participating in this tournament. All right, if you insist. Far be it from me to refuse your courtesy any further. Well, at least I'll be able to keep on top of my bills this month. Maybe I'll even have some left over. In fact, let me treat you all to a meal later. Bring Tainari and Kale, too. Well, this is what they call all's well that ends well. Hmm. Haima wonders how the other contestants are doing. Let's go check in with them, shall we? Since we're guest commentators and all. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. Back in the day, my fashion style was considered cutting edge by everyone in the academia. Really? Well, then, uh, sure, M Madame Farzan. Maybe you could pick out a few fashionable outfits for us. Farzan! Nilu! <gasps> Even Dia and Candace are here! What are you all up to? Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Madame Farzan here is pretty friendly. When she heard that we were buying clothes, she decided to give us some help. Hmm. I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Never mind. We can purchase some textiles and make the clothes ourselves. Let's go with the plain fabric as our base. And embroider red and pink flowers on. Oh, and some green leaves. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, you sure that's the latest style? That sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would wear. Don't worry. This style is a timeless classic. Uh, no thanks. This is actually sounding pretty weird. Wait, wait, wait. Madame Parzan's right. That style is a classic. It used to be mainstream fashion. But these days, there are some other options too. If you don't mind, how about I pick some clothes out for everyone? It's not often that we get to meet up, especially since Candace rarely makes it to Sumeru City. Also, I know a few places where I can get a great bargain. Sure. I'm happy to leave it to you. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. Madame Farazan? Uh, come quick! She's over here! Hmm? Who are you? We're new in the academia. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. Do you have any classes we could sign up for? Ahem. Of course I do. And you're both very welcome to join. That's great! We can't wait. Um, what's your area of research? Precision mechanics? I'm from Haravatat. Uh-huh. But you seem like an expert in machines. Wait, sorry. 
I remember now. You were representing the Haravatat Darshan in the championship. Oh, their classes are so boring, though. I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me know if you run any other classes in the future. I'll be there. <laughs> I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friend? I think you're amazing, Madam Farazan, and I'd like to learn from you for a while, if possible. I can take the class you're teaching as an option, even though cross darshan lessons might be a little tough to arrange. But I look forward to learning from you. I see. You're a good egg, child. Don't worry. Study under me, and I promise you, you will get the best teaching available. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. I don't quite understand what happened there, but congratulations, I think. Traveler, Paimon, would you two like to come and pick out some clothes? Sorry, we can't. We've got a meal with Kave later, and we have to check in with all the other contestants before then. Oh, by the way, have any of you seen Hat Guy or Layla? I don't know where Hat Guy went. We just saw Layla not too long ago, though. But she was hanging out with some other Ratahoa students, so we didn't get a chance to speak with her. Are you gonna go and see what she's up to? Ratahoa students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition, right? Oh, she didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about that. Let's go take a peek. If you don't come to Sumeru City often, classic floral designs aren't a bad choice. Those don't really go out of style. And of course, since you're putting this on your body, you need to consider the type of fabric the clothes are made from. Some materials might look stunning, but they can be terribly uncomfortable to wear. Agreed. After all, is fashion not the constant phasing in and out of classics? In that sense, you could always consider the style I suggested, too. Wait, uh, sorry, ma'am, but I think it could be quite a while before the style you recommended comes back into fashion. I actually think the style recommended by Madame Faruzan is quite beautiful. Isn't it just? You have a discerning eye, my dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Hmm, I could have done better in the third round. Oh, stop it! If you're going to beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? Heck, it's not like any of us had the guts to enter the championship. I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? And I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. You came so close to winning the competition. Aw, oh, I just got lucky, I think. That can't be true. You had some really stiff competition out there. The renowned Tainari from Amorta, even Sino the General Mahamatra was there. You're amazing, all of you. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. The way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit with the nicknames they give you. You are a genuine genius. Oh, thanks a lot, but I really don't think I qualify as a genius. In the second round, for instance, I dozed off and somehow found myself beside the device when I came to. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. We've decided we're taking you out to celebrate and that's final. Let's go. Cheer up, Layla. The rest of today's all about you. Looks like things are going well for Layla. This is great! Hmm. We haven't seen Hat Guy since the end of the competition. Eh, oh well, it's almost meal time. We'd better go meet up with Kaveh and Sino now. Oh, I can't believe it. But in the end, no one was disappointed in me. Ah, oh, what a relief. Finally. Ooh. I can go 
get some good sleep. Yeah. 